Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at this PlayStation 4 which I've got right here in front of me. And this has been sent in because apparently it's not taking a disc. So this has been sent by another business, so it's not a disc drive issue. It's going to be a electrical issue on the disc drive daughter board or something on the main board. And the reason I say that is because obviously the business that sends them, they're more than capable of changing a disk drive or fixing a disk drive mechanism. So it's been sent to me because they're obviously not able to fix it because it's going to require some sort of fault finding and component level repair, or at least that's what I would assume. So yeah, like I said, this don't take a disk and this is the original PlayStation 4. So it's not the clicky one, it's not the 1200, it is actually the 1116A. So it's the 1116A, which means that it's got the daughter board on the disk drive and it's not embedded onto the main motherboard. So from the 1200 series onwards, it was embedded on the main board, but the first two were on a separate board. So we're going to take a look, see what we can do and hopefully get this fixed. But if you are new to the channel and you enjoy this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you're really feeling generous, then you can give the video a thumbs up as well before you even watch it. Be a rebel, thumbs up the video before you even know what's going on. Also, before I forget, if you do want to support the channel, then be sure to head over to Twitch and link an Amazon Prime account to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber, which is completely free for you to do if you're already paying for Amazon Prime, and it helps me out a bunch. But there's also a Patreon link in the video description, as well as a join button below the video if you want to become a channel member. So, with that being said, let's get into this repair. Rightio, so one strange thing that I have just noticed is that the warranty stickers are all intact. So that means that this has never been opened. So what I am wondering is how the business knows that it's not a mechanical issue and how they know that it's an electrical issue. So yeah, that's kind of tilting me a little bit. I'm not really sure what to think because they've obviously not been inside this. So unless it's just not trying to take a disc at all, then I don't see how they would possibly know until they actually look at the disc drive. So I didn't notice that when I was doing the intro to the video. Let's just turn it on. Okay, the fan fires up. Disk drive eject button works. Okay, that motor's not kicking in, but I can hear the sensor. So that's not necessarily a good thing because that very well could be an issue with the Renesas IC. So the Renesas IC is the disk drive. It's basically what tells the console whether the disk drive is the correct disk drive for that board. So the Renesas IC is paired with the APU and that can't be changed. So if that fails, which is actually a lot more common than people think, then we're in for a little bit of a shock because that means that it's unfixable. And that's rather unfortunate because it basically bricks the device. You can't even update it. So if your hard drive fails, you can't reinstall the software unless you're on version 4.0 or below. And you can't load a disk. So you've got to hope that your hard drive never dies. And let's face it, it's going to die someday. It's a hard drive. So if we listen very carefully. So did you hear that? So as I'm offering up the disk... So you can see it moving freely, which means that the rollers appear to be working. But as I'm offering up this disc, I can hear a sensor activating, as if it's trying to take in the disc. Let's just pop it onto the TV. It is a PlayStation, so it needs to go onto the TV rather than on the capture card. Right, so we do get the PlayStation dashboard. So the console itself appears to be working. So yeah, let's just try and figure this out, shall we? Um, Oops. Let's not do that again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start calling myself Linus Sebastian. Anyway. Let's just void this warranty. Oh, yeah. Got to love doing that. There we go. And I'm going to destroy that warranty sticker as well. Because if a console enters my workshop, then it does get serviced. 
there we go might as well take that screw out as well because like I said if a console enters my workshop it gets serviced unless I can't fix it if I can't fix it then nope not wasting the time but if I can fix it then it will get a good clean out okay so the first thing I'm going to do then is I am going to just disassemble the disk drive and I'm going to have a look inside the actual disk drive itself because it is very very dirty inside here so I'll have a look inside the disk drive itself first and just see if there's anything that I can see let's just get rid of that first come on get out do it now what the hell Bruh. get out Alright, so the first thing I generally do when I'm looking at a disk drive issue, because I don't get these very often, but the first thing I generally do is I will pop in a disk and then I'll use the manual loading mechanism just to see if I can accept a disk. And yep, yeah, that mechanism is working absolutely fine by the look of it. Mm, although it, it does need a clean so the rollers do need a clean so it did struggle a little bit but in terms of the actual mechanism it appears to be fine alright so Let's just take off the top plate. So I need to switch to a pH double zero for that. There we go. So we're going to have a look on the actual top plate. Yep, that is working absolutely perfectly. So the top plate is fine. The rollers, like I said, they're working but they do need a little bit of a clean so what I'll do is just take them out of there I'm going to bush down the actual disk drive itself first of all so I'll get rid of this dust inside here so while I'm brushing this down I'm being very careful not to touch this laser if you don't want to touch the laser you can touch anywhere else just don't touch the laser because the chances are you will wreck it I'm not saying you personally I'm saying anyone chances are you're gonna wreck it so we'll clean out the dust but we're not touching the laser you can use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol if it struggles to read a disc with a cotton swab and give the laser itself a clean so the actual laser eye but other than that you don't really want to be touching the laser at all if you can help it let's just get that back into position there we go and then what I'm going to do with the rollers is I'm just going to take some isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab so I'll put some into the lid of my IPA bottle there we go and then I'm just going to wash the rollers themselves I'll just leave them to dry as well there we go and I'll squeeze some of that IPA off and just clean the laser very gently and dry it straight off clean that off as well so just clean off the little bit of foam on the plate just to get it nice and clean make sure that we're not going to run into any issues 
when we do figure out what's wrong. But I don't think this is going to be a mechanical issue. I think it's going to be a disc drive issue. So there we go. That's that done. And now that the rollers should be dried off, well, they're not. Just give them a little bit of a blow. Drop that there. So isopropyl alcohol, that will evaporate with a little bit of air. So I'll just blow them to evaporate the rest of the IPA. Lock those back in. And there we go. Okay, so that's all lined back up. Let's screw that back together. It's very doubtful this is a mechanism issue. But I will try it, just for the sake of trying it. There we go. Let's put that isopropyl alcohol away. And then I'm just going to get this connector back in. Like so. And there we go. All right. Awesome. So that's back together. Enough for just giving it a quick test. Let's just screw the antenna down. Actually, to be fair, we might as well screw the disk drive down now because that's not going to be coming out again. Always make sure you press down on this little silver retention clip here. You don't want to put that in without pressing down on the clip because you will damage that connector. All right, so that's back together enough now, but honestly, I'm not expecting this to work. Okay, let's try a disc. <laughs> Dude. No complaints. Got control to sync. There we go. Feet for 15. Beautiful. Well, all that's left to do with this is clean it. That is literally it. So, yeah, a nice simple fix. That was so, so easy, it was unreal. Uh, turns out it was the mechanism. So, it must have just got stuck. And then, when I've lifted all the plates off, obviously, it's uh, it sorted out the mechanism and it reset everything. So, yeah, a nice simple fix. It's going to be a nice simple vid video to actually edit and upload as well which is fantastic. I am obviously going to clean out the system, so I'll clean out the fan and things like that, and I'll put some fresh thermal paste on as well, all part of the service. So I'll just click, treat this as a service, basically, because that's what I would do on a service. I would clean out the disk drive, I would clean out the heat sink, the fan, and I would apply some fresh thermal paste and clean the case as well. And that would be a general service for me. So yeah, I will do that, but I'll do that off video. But uh, in terms of the disk drive, obviously just lifting everything off and resetting everything fixes the issue. In this case, that's rare to see. So usually when they come to me, it's usually down to a fuse or something on the daughter board. But yeah, in this case, no, nice and simple. And it just shows that if the business had checked it, then they would have been able to fix it themselves. But, you know... It is what it is, and uh, that means I'll get to make some money instead. So, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll always do my best to answer. And if you do want to organise your own repair, you can do so by getting in touch using the website in the video description. Consolefix.co.uk will take you straight to my website. And you can book in the repair, or you can contact me if you've got any questions about that particular repair as well. If you do want to support me, then you can do so by heading over to Twitch and becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. It all massively helps. I get around about 250 for every person that does it. And it is a big, big help towards the channel. You can also become a channel member by using the join button below, or you can become a Patreon sponsor using the Patreon link in the video description as well. Just realised that I'll get an error on the disk drive. That's going to be because of my disk, I promise you. So yeah, there's actual physical damage to that disk.
You can see the scratches around there. So yeah, that's going to be my disc. But point is, it's taking a disc. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs>